Lunatics. Today we are at Changri La Mall in what is this Ortiga? Yeah. So we are here today to talk about 10 ways the Philippines and the Dominican Republic are similar. That's right. You will be surprised to know that we have a lot of things in, in common. common. And the number one is similar culture history and, and colonial architecture ah yes 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 yeah as you guys know the dominican republic and the philippines were both spain, spain. so that makes our architecture arch in a spanish colonial in colonial spanish style style like what you see in uh, intramuros and vegan city you find places like those in dominican republic as well we have and the la ruina de san francisco we have the zona colonial yeah and in puerto plata we have shed too yeah, <laughs> yeah shed. anyway here's the shed that she's referring <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a uh, very interesting. Also, like our Let's go over there. our culture, as you know, Dominican Republic is Latino culture because it's more like this is where we lean more power. And in the case of Philippines, you also have some uh, Spanish culture as well. It's and a mix it's heavily, uh, like it shows yeah. in the. Yeah. Also, like the surroundings, also even the people's names, even in your language. Yeah. <laughs> even like in your language. language. So, yeah. But number two is religion. Yeah. As you guys know, the main religion here is the Catholic religion. And that in it was introduced by Spain, Spanish. of course. Yeah. So, in the Dominican Republic, it's also like that. Like, our official religion is the Catholic. And it was introduced also, also by the Spaniards. Yes. We also have the uh, Protestants, yeah. uh, Christian Protestants, yeah. that are like the born again Christian here in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, but like our official religion is it's the Catholic. Catholic. That's right. Number three, street life and public gathering. Our country and the Philippines both have the streets completely full of life like it's not dual in the street like people can really gather and do stuff together like, like fiestas yeah parades, par fiestas, celebration, parades, celebration. like people can come together in the streets and it's normal and i am i'm talking about this because there are other countries that this doesn't happen much like Vamos a see European countries, for example, especially the ones more in the north, the Scandinavian countries. North like this is absolutely not seen over there. So it's like it's also part of our culture to have public gathering, public fiestas, and a lot of things happens in the bustling streets. Not only fiestas, but also like street food and people just uh, hanging out in the streets yes. uh, spontaneously. It's really beautiful to see. That's why you feel like so at home here. Yes. <laughs> Number four, family values. Uh, As you guys uh, know, uh, we are, listen, Dominicans are very family oriented. Filipinos too. And Filipinos too. We don't do anything without our family, without consulting our family, getting a new job, visiting another country, getting our family needs to know. <laughs> so same yeah, with the Philippines. same in the Philippines. Like you guys also uh, have family values that are very ingrained very in the society. Like, it's really rare to see people not living with their family. In the United States, as soon as you are the you are adult, you, you can, can move out of the house of your parents. But yeah. like, it's very common in my country that you are over thirty. And you're still, still living, living with your mom part. and dad because yeah. in our culture, like if you don't get married, you don't get out of the house. Yeah, exactly. It's the same so as it's here the same in the here. Too. We have the same values, guys. Yeah. Also, another thing that is common in both Dominican Republic and Philippines is 
a, a song that is working that this song supports the family and the yeah. household and like if there is a family member that gets a lot of money suddenly like everybody wins. Yeah. Also like when someone is traveling they can send boxes of clothes and food and whatever like they have Balik Bayan here. boxes. Yeah, they have here. You guys call it Balik Bayan boxes. We don't yeah. have a name we for it. We don't have a name for it. Yeah. We just say, oh, llegó la maleta. La maleta. <laughs> la maleta is a, a, translates as the luggage. The luggage. And it's full literally of everything. full of everything. <laughs> so that's why we were like, oh, the luggage is here from the U.S. and it brings a lot of stuff for the family to enjoy. Number five is warm hospitality. Yeah. The kindness yes. of the people. Yes. Dominicans are very kind, very warm, and the Filipinos, dicen quítate. Filipinos is even kinder. Yeah, you guys, like, okay, Dominicans are kind and we help each other in everything. Yeah. But when Filipinos people yeah it, it shows like it doesn't matter if we are living in bad conditions and diablo pero somos felices The weather. Yeah. Last In both the Dominican Republic and the Philippines, we have tropical, tropical weather. Yeah. And which is hot and humid with yeah. temperatures ranging from In 24 de Celsius degree to 35 Celsius degree in the Dominican Republic, but yeah. you guys who go even higher, up to yeah. 40 Celsius yeah. degree, Absolutely. depending on the region. So like, yeah, Philippines in Mindanao is it's hotter. hotter than Luzon. Yeah, and Philippines is a bit hotter, but we have kind of like the same weather and also like we have the same seasons, more or less. Like we yeah, just have no seasons. No seasons. The, it's uh, only, the only rainy season. summer all year. It's sunny season sunny or season, rainy, rainy season. season. That's, that's, that's all it. we have. That's all we have. Exactly. So it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> similar to <laughs> number seven is love for food yes. and festivities that involve food. Yes. Dominicans celebrate by eating. Yeah. So all and our Absolutely. All our celebrations are related to so I have noticed that here food it's is social. Thing. Yeah. Like it's so social. Like if you gather with somebody, you have to eat. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So eat and drink. So it's kinda like the same with the Dominican, like the Filipinos and the Dominican. We love food and we love to share food with people, you know? Yeah, nobody likes to eat alone. <laughs> so yeah, we like share our food together. Number eight, language influence. Yeah, we know that Filipino language has many influences, but one of those influences is Spanish. And, and guess which one is the official language of, of the Dominican, Dominican Republic? Republic? If you get Spanish, you are, you are correct. correct. That's right. So <laughs> we have so many like things in common uh, in terms of languages. Today, like there was a person talking to us 
and she was saying empleado, sueldo, and then she translated that to English, and we were just like, laughing, that, like, that's girl, Spanish. you don't need to translate that, <laughs> because that's literally, like, we understand that, because that's in Spanish, literally. Yeah. So, uh, we all know that Filipinos have a lot of words in Spanish, yeah. and in this channel, we have made several contents comparing uh, Spanish words yeah. and Filipino words that come from Spanish, but if you want us to do like a video a revised and, version yeah, with yeah, yeah. all the words that we know now, and like with uh, <laughs> Filipino, <laughs> you can let us know in the comments. Number nine, el peso. Peso. The coin, the currency. The currency. In the Dominican Republic, it's called peso, peso. dominican. That's right. In the Philippines, it's called peso filipino. Peso filipino. That's right. So. But not only that, the colors of our <laughs> banknotes is Are the so same. Similar. They look, they look alike, and not only the looks, the value is almost the same. Un peso filipino equals, equals un peso dominican. Basically, yeah, <laughs> like, so it's insane. That, it's that was one of the that things that we... That was shocking for us. Shocking. Like, we really <laughs> arrived here in not, not trying to translate, like, all the peso to dollars, because there's no need. Like, there's I translate no point, peso to peso, and then I know if it's something is too expensive or if it's cheap. But, like... Seriously, not only our money look alike, but also words the same? Yes. Really? <laughs> That's insane, That's guys. insane. And number 10. The last one, the most difficult. Is the natural beauty of our country. Yes. So we all know that Philippines naturally is really gorgeous. You guys have mountains, you have beaches, you have cordilleras, waterfalls, waterfalls you have volcanoes, you have a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have volcanoes. But volcano, but we do the other have, stuff we have it. We have beaches and we have mountainous uh, uh, areas and like forests and all this stuff yeah. that are very similar to the Philippines. And mm. we're gonna be making a video about places in the Dominican Republic that are very similar. similar to places that are here in the Philippines. Let us so, know in the comments if, the, if that's the content that you want to see, okay? Yes. Otherwise, I'm not going to do any. Exactly. Because who's going to watch it if you're not <laughs> 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 But yeah, like, when we arrived here, we were like, oh my God, this looks like the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Like, they were so similar, but we know that we are not in our country. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, the, the only difference, like, in the environment is that you guys are literally Asian more, people but you look more <laughs> luxurious like because mm. the buildings are taller like yeah. it's like Philippines is extra you know the art is 10% and then Philippines is 100% <laughs> no, but yeah in all seriousness like our countries both of our countries have beautiful landscapes natural beauty natural resources Yes. Excellent to be discovered by everyone. Yes. Even caves. We have caves. Yeah, we have caves. You guys have caves. Anyways, that's the top 10 similarities between the Dominican Republic and the Philippines. Yay. If you want to watch a content about the differences, let us know in the comments. We yes. can make that list as well. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our patrons and, and supporters. supporters. Thank you so much to our patrons Emilio, Val Mike, Val Jung, Poggy Pinoy, Tita Wen, Desk Jog, Fred Gabriel, David Sanz, and Andrew Shika. Also, huge shout out to our verified and certified soul lunatics, especially Sherry Floor, Janice, Kenneth Hugh, Clem Jen, Brian Cabosora, Eggy, AJ Primicias, Tish21, Yokagi San, Stelberry Jen, Gabe, WV, Roalf, Sherbon, Don Rotopuso, Emilio Taveras, Pinoy OFW Adventure, Six Man, Archie, and Mardi. And now watch this video that here is recommended by YouTube's algorithm especially for you. Click on it right, right now. now.